Hey, I am live again. I normally have my fan running in the background, so I'm just gonna put it back on. Uh, <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, my arm is wiggling around again. So, I'm just gonna go open our project once more. And let's go back to our window capture. There we go. Uh, <laughs> it's loading. So, whoever is in the chat, how are you? <laughs> welcome, welcome. I'm going to execute a command here. Let's see if Nightbot works. There we go. Nightbot is working today. Functional. Chahan. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Well, <laughs> this might take a little while. Um, Hmm. Oh, almost there. Almost. There we go. We did it. <laughs> oh, I need to, um, I need to put the credit back. Let's see. I'm just gonna activate that. There we go. We have that set up at the top. And I'm just gonna get rid of that window. Perfect. Yay! So, if you're here yesterday, um, we had not made it this far. Um, here we we've gotten it functional, so that now we can operate our uh, cloning. Look at this! Yay! <laughs> it's working. So, uh, the next thing we need to do, let's see, what should we do next? I think, hmm, so, um, Rainbow doesn't have the same face tracking hardware that I have, so we might need to use a different method. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna have to uh, reopen this. Uh, wait a minute. <laughs> there I am. Okay, I'm back. Um, that might be because of VR. Is that it? Oh, there it is. Okay. That's the problem. Okay, so we should be able to run both of them at the same time now. I think. Let's see if it works. Okay, so it looks like it looks like only one um, program can use the tracker at uh, at a time. So <laughs> we won't be able to uh, to have the head movement uh, if I'm using if I'm using our uh, tracking software, but that's okay. Um, I think I'm going to be setting up the other face tracking uh, software off stream but for now we can work on things like expressions so let's see about this I did notice that one of our expressions um, is not working exactly the way I like um, I think it's let's see is it left? ooh so these actually do work now I wonder why Let's see. We had some kind of um, problem before, but it looks like I don't know. <laughs> Let's look around. 
Um, arm, body. Ooh, I think it's this one. Okay, there we go. Okay, so um, let's set up the expressions now. Let's set up those expressions. I want. Um, I think this is ready to convert into VRM. Um, so what we want to do is turn this into a VRM model. And the reason for that is because, um, like, well, I have my uh, normal model here. I also have like a clone of it that um, is built to uh, uh, for the for the face tracker. And that only works with the VRM model. So I need to make like a clone. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's see. We're gonna. Okay, export humanoid. We might need it here. Now we can delete these. Um, we can also delete this. And I think, yeah, we can delete these two. So we don't need any of this anymore. Uh, let's see if we can export. There we go. Export humanoid. Um, this looks pretty good. Uh, uh oh. <laughs> Animation type needs to be human. Here, let, let's say uh, rain, rainbows, plushies, and chai traps. But it needs to be humanoid. Let's see. How should we fix this? Hmm. Animator dot. Avatar model's animation type needs to be humanoid. So let's see, animation type. Anim animation type. Nani? Hmm. So let's take a look at my model. Let's see if we can figure this out. Uh needs to be humanoid. So it might be because uh, the model... Well, I think we got it humanoid. I think it ended up working, so... Hmm. I'm just trying to figure this out. Uh, humanoid. So this one has an avatar here, and a controller. Same for this one. Interesting. Export humanoid. So it says it's not humanoid. I'm gonna search this in the forums. Let's see about this. Uh, mini VRM. Um, animator avatar is not humanoid. Let's see. He is not. He is not. Nope, that's not it. <coughs> hmm. <laughs> well, <laughs> uh, okay, so there. It's, it's specifically the avatar. So, uh, <laughs> let's look at the avatar. It might be that we didn't set up correctly. We set, uh, set it up. Set it up correctly. We didn't set it up correctly. Now, we don't need these two. So we can delete those. Uh, we actually don't need any of these. So these are all old. Um, <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, interesting. Okay, so it, it it's not registering as a full humanoid. So that's probably the problem. <laughs> um, we might not. We might actually need to redo the the um, rigging a little bit. So let's go into the file and start looking at this. Oops. 
zoomed out a little bit too much. There we go. Um, so this is, okay, I'm gonna do some renaming here. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. What is this? Okay. Oh, th okay, this is the head, I think. Um, but what's this one? I don't think we need this bone. Um, I also want to enable x-ray, so that way we can see through them. And I think I'd also like um, to work with the connections. So this one, I want uh, this one to be parented to the, I'm going to call this hip, hip, and this is parented to the hip. Oh, that didn't work. Hip. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, okay. I see. That makes sense. Uh, so this one, okay. There we go. So now it's connected. Uh, let's call this one... Oh, this is the head. So we're going to call this head. Uh, although... <laughs> First we need to, there's a, actually another bone already called head, which is incorrect, so we need to rename that one. Um, let's see, where is it? Anyway, uh, <laughs> let's just rename it head, let's see, no, okay, where's, which one is it calling head? Maybe this one? Hand. No, these are hands. Is this one head? It's a little difficult to zoom in. Let's uh, let's actually delete both of these. So there we go. Okay. So we've done a little bit of cleaning up. Uh, I don't think we need either, either of these either. So we can delete those. Um, interesting. I don't know where all these extra bones came from. Uh, it might have been from exporting. But yeah, <laughs> we don't want all these extra bones just littering everything. Um, here we go, very nice and clean, um, let's see, I'd like to make this name a little cleaner too, year.art, year, I think we, we also don't need the ends, so I'm, I'm gonna remove these. Yeah, cool. Uh, now in the pose mode. I love saying that. Pose mode, pose mode. I'm gonna pin this one around. So it looks like we we also don't need this one. So that's pretty good. Uh, hat, uh, no, hat. Hat, there we go. Um, and then hat tip, top, hat top. Let's call this one hat base. Great. Very good. Very good. Very good. And this one could be leg.r. This one can be leg.r1. And we can do this for the left leg as well. There we go. And I think, let's see about this. So this is, ooh, so we actually don't need these either. A lot of end bones. And this one, that's kind of funny. This one's called, this one's called head. <laughs> 
But it's not actually the head. Um, hmm. So it looks like we we actually don't need that bone. So let's delete it. Um, tail base. Tail. I'd actually like to redo this a little bit. Um, this one, this bone is in mid. Um, this bone, however, is pretty useful. We can use this one. Oh, struggling to select it here. This one, oh. Yeah, this one controls the pivot. So what I'm gonna do is rename this one from, oh. <laughs> Tail uh, end. Okay, actually, I kind of like that. Tail base and tail end. And I'd also like, let's see. Yeah, there we go. Um, and then these, I think, are for controlling clothing. Um, you don't need these. Oh, this is going to make it a lot easier to uh, see through everything. <laughs> there we go. We've gotten all of those extra bones out of the way. Um, now this one... Okay, those are set up correctly. Very good. Uh, yeah, so we're going to call this head. The head is printed to the hip. Uh, both of these are printed to the head. I want the tail to be uh, printed to hip. And I think all of the clothing bones should also be printed to the hip. Hip. Okay, last one. There we go. Uh, yeah. And I also want the legs to be connected to the hip. Great. And looks like these are set up correctly. Yay. Um, okay. I think that I think that's pretty much all the corrections. Um, <laughs> yeah, that'll definitely help with a bunch of stuff. Um, we need hips. Oh, we also need spine. So let's actually add an, another bone. I don't know if this will cause trouble with the um, deformation or not, but yeah, let's try that. Um, let's disconnect these and just add another bone. This one's gonna be called spine. And this is just to make it uh, conform better to um, the software's idea of what a humanoid skeleton looks like. So yeah, this one needs to be printed to spine. There we go. That's nicely connected. Um, I think, do we need chest? Hmm. I don't know if we need chest. Um, shoulder? Let's add shoulders. Okay. Um, <laughs> okay. So how about, how about we do... That didn't work. <laughs> uh, okay. X mirror is on. And it, it's, let's see, we need, how about we use the 3D cursor? Now that's not exactly what I was expecting. <laughs> well, okay. Let's just use, let, let's just, <laughs> okay, let's turn off the X mirror for a second. Uh, 
And let's just extrude like that. That's pretty good. Uh, let's flip the direction now. So let's do switch, switch direction. And uh, now we're gonna mirror it. So we're gonna mirror on the x-axis, although we need to duplicate it. There we go. So now we have two of them. Um, I also want to rename these. So this is gonna be. Oh wait a minute. <laughs> I just realized something. Oop. I realized something a little silly, which is that these are not the arms. <laughs> The arms are here, so let's actually not add the bones like that. Let's add the bones like this. We're just gonna add a little shoulder. And we're going to reverse the direction, uh, duplicate, and then flip. And then this I'm gonna call shoulder.r, shoulder.r. And this one is shoulder.l. And head.r is parented to shoulder.r and connected. And same for the left hand. Shoulder.l. Okay, so now I have shoulders. Um, <laughs> I think we don't need. Oh, do we? I don't know. We can add... Hmm. <laughs> uh, okay, how about we... Okay, just to, uh, to make sure that the software doesn't get really confused, let's add... Um, let's, just, let's just add some more arm bones. <laughs> um, so we're going to undo this. And uh, with the X mirror on, we're going to move that. And I think we can actually add in two more. So here, let's just uh, do that. And oh, hey, I did it on the other side too. Uh, great, cool. So this is shoulder, this is upper arm. Upper arm. I think it it's um let's see, upper arm. Oh I think we could just call it arm. Arm dot L. Actually it's dot R. Arm dot R. Then we have forearm. Forearm dot R. And then we have the head. Shoulder arm dot L and um, this one is for arm dot L. And now this one is printed to forearm dot and connected. There we go. And same thing over here. Connected to forearm dot L. Yay! We did it. <laughs> um, yeah. And I think maybe adding foot bones would also help. So let's also add some of these bones and let's call this foot dot was it L? No it's R. Foot dot R. It's the right foot. This is the foot dot left. Very good. Uh, hmm. Now I wonder uh, since this tail is not humanoid, 
I'm wondering if that could cause a problem. That, yeah, that might cause a problem. So maybe, maybe we need uh, multiple armatures. So how about, how about we actually separate this? We're gonna put it in a different. Um, wait, how do we do this? <laughs> Uh, se separate. Separate? Bones. Separate bones? Yeah, there we go. So now we have a tail armature. Tail armature. So this is just gonna be like a skeleton that controls the tail. And, uh, yeah. Let's just, okay, I'm gonna add. I'm gonna add an empty. I think it's yeah, it's at the origin, and we're gonna add. Uh, let's see, this is clownly, and we have the armature, and then we also have the tail armature. So we're going to set the parent. So now everything's under here. Um, although, wait a minute. <laughs> there we go, okay. That's better. So we're gonna set the parent of that also. And now we can just export both of these. Um, yeah. Now, I wonder if when we export it, it'll actually work. <laughs> because, um, let's see, we're gonna need, we might need two different armature modifiers. Is that possible? It might be possible in Blender, but not in Unity. Yeah, so it's possible in Blender, uh, but I'm wondering, like if we, if we want it, in Unity, um, that might be a little bit more difficult. <laughs> um. <laughs> Wait a minute, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna restart the song because, so actually I'm, I'm gonna have to end the stream in just a moment. Uh, so this is like a really fast stream really short one um, because <laughs> my parents have set it up so that our internet connection goes out at midnight and it's midnight now <laughs> and um, so the stream actually keeps going it's just I can't create any new connections with the internet so um, yeah <laughs> so our music is gonna go out if uh, if I keep going. So we're 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 actually gonna end in just a moment. Um, but yeah, if you want to see me finish this, uh, you can follow me, and I'm gonna be working on it. Uh, I think tomorrow, and well, I'm gonna be working on it for for like a week, uh, maybe longer, and I'm gonna add some cool new materials and textures and animations and all, all kinds of stuff. Uh, it's gonna look like me, kind of. Oh, see, I I made my own software, so I'm gonna set this up uh, in here, and we're gonna we're gonna make it a puppet thing like me. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, let let's try. Let's see. Do we want to export it yet? I think, um, I guess I could, I could export it, but anyway, I, I'll do that after stream, after the stream ends. I'm going to go back to the home screen and, uh, I guess, I guess we're done <laughs> for today. Uh, I will be back. I will be back tomorrow unless something happens, uh, unless something comes up. Um, there's still a few people I'm gonna collab with, but we haven't really 
arranged much. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna need to uh, talk to people a little bit. But yeah, other than that, I I will be working on this some more. Um, well, I'm also gonna play Steins Gate on stream soon. That's gonna be really fun, and I'm gonna. Um, yeah, Rainbow and Sapphire, uh, Sapphire and I are going to play um, Terraria some more. And yeah, lots of stuff. Anyway, I will see you all in the next stream. Chai chai. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. We added the new commands. Look, look at this. I added, I added this new command. We have the chai chai command now. Chai chai. <laughs> We also we have a lot of commands. Um, I need to set up a, a panel on the about page, so then you can see like all the all the commands I added. Yeah, we also have the joke command, like joke. What do you call a a chai burger without ice? You call joke two to hear the answer, and when you run joke two, you you get you get <laughs> a chai <job> burger. <laughs> No, <laughs> no, no, I, <laughs> yes, so, uh, <laughs> nobody's used the new lurk commands either, anyway, maybe, maybe next time somebody will use it, and you'll see my new lurk command, I think it's pretty cool, anyway, cha cha, I'm trying to wave my hands, but my sensor is not coming in, goodbye, there's that Windows sound, that Windows sound we hear every time the stream ends, oh, oh wow, what? what?